Before we move forward, let's double check that everything that you want to work with is contained within your layer group. And again, we can do that by collapsing and expanding the layer group. If the layers disappear when you expand or collapse your layer group, you can guarantee that they are um, within the layer group. Also, before I move forward, I want to lock the things that are done or not being used. And so you can always select a layer group and choose layer and lock layers. Oops, make sure you actually make a decision when you do that. I'm going to lock everything on these layers because I've already decided I'm not using them. And I don't want to accidentally grab something I wasn't intending. Next, I'm going to turn off everything above the background layer and make a decision about the background. Is this the background that I definitely want to use? Now, you, you don't really have any decisions on the background other than yes or no. You can't reposition the backgrounds because they are the same exact size as your image area. So if you grab the Move tool and you try to drag the background, you'll quickly notice that um, you will have transparency show through. And so as long as I'm comfortable with this background, I'm going to accept that, and I'm also going to choose Layer and Lock Layers. I'll lock everything on that layer. Next is the container, and I do have choices about the container. I can select the container and I can move it around. Next, I'm going to lock that when that's in place, layer, and then lock layers. And then really the bulk of your work is going to come into play when you work with the apple, or the apples or your elements that you choose to use. I would recommend using the Move tool and have Auto Select selected. So if everything else is locked, all you have to worry about is moving the elements, or in our case, the apples around. With Auto Select selected, you can click and drag your apples. And visually, when you click an apple, I can say, I want this red apple, and I can move it into place. You may not have enough apples if you wanted to fill a bucket with apples. You may not have enough apples to do that. You can always duplicate your layer, so you can right click on a layer and choose to duplicate the layer. Or my favorite key command, and it works in all Adobe programs, is if you hold down the option key, the cursor will change to be a white and a black cursor. And when you have that, you can click and drag to make copies. And I'm just going to fill the, the box with apples. I'm not even going to worry if they're in the right position. I just want to know that I have enough apples to fill in where I want to fill in.